Well, hello, I'm Steve McCabe, the MP for Selly Oak in Birmingham and the chair of the All Party Group for uh, Heart Valve Disease. Uh, I'm joined this morning by Henry Smith, the MP for Crawley in uh, West Sussex, who is uh, also uh, the, a vice chair and member of that All Party Group. And we're just going to continue our kind of conversation that we've been having with a few people um, about heart valve disease. This is part of the 100,000 Conversations campaign. I'm just going to ask Will Wohan, who's with us as well this morning, to just maybe say a few words about what is this 100,000 Conversations? Yeah, sure. It's, it's a pleasure to see you both again. Um, the 100,000 Conversations started with one single conversation between myself and, and the team here at Heart Valve Voice. We recognise that awareness of heart valve disease is stubbornly low here in the UK. Um, older people, the prevalence of valve disease increases with age, and yet older people are just not aware of those symptoms. So what we wanted to do was inspire people to have that conversation with an older relative, perhaps, or a neighbour, someone at work, just to kind of make it a bit more accessible so that they know what they should do if they're experiencing those symptoms. These are issues as you get older that obviously become more aware of, uh, but it's important, I think, that there's a wider prevalence and understanding of heart valve uh, disease. It's something that um, I think affects uh, a significant number of people, yet perhaps isn't a topic that most people would talk about. Therefore, you know, I think this conversation is very important to raise awareness, um, to perhaps destigmatize um, the issue of talking about heart valve uh, disease. Um, and, you know, just to have a conversation about how um, it's a it's a condition that uh, affects many people and um, how we need to look out for each other and the, indeed look out for ourselves, I think, um, to try and um, lead as healthy a lifestyle as possible. Well, I've got a few years on, on Henry, but uh, Henry, I, I was uh, I had a mitral valve repair about nine years ago uh, when I was in my, my uh, mid 50s. And uh, I have to say, <laughs> it gave us a bolt out of the blue, uh, and it certainly uh, made me feel. I, I don't think I'd actually even heard of mitral valve disease at that point. Uh, so, I, I mean, I think you're right about you know this growing consciousness and the need for for people to to talk about it. I, I was wondering. Uh, look, but we're both uh, members of an old party group. You're a Conservative MP. I'm a, a Labour MP. Um, but I was struck the other week talking to the, the health minister, Joe Churchill, about how much I agreed with the approach she was taking. I was very impressed with what she had to say about early diagnosis hubs and about uh, breathlessness and this breathlessness campaign. Will's just referred to it there. I, I wondered, you, you obviously speak to Joe as well, what, what kind of things would you be urging her to do? You know, I, I think we've got to be realistic. We can't do everything at once. There's lots of demands. But this is an issue that concerns you that you're interested in. Is there anything else you'd be urging Joe to do if you could? Well, I think awareness campaigns are very important. So I think there's a reticence amongst a lot of the population uh, to go to their GP if they've got concerns about possibly having symptoms. And they, as, as you said earlier on, they, they may sort of consign it to other reasons. Oh, well, I've been overworking recently. I've been tired recently. It must be other things getting old, um, you know, pressures of life. And I think greater awareness um, that these symptoms could be something more serious is very important. So uh, any um, campaigns like that, uh, I think historically um, with other conditions have been um, quite successful. Um, so I'd very much encourage a continuation um, of that. But particularly, I think it's important um, as we recover from the COVID-19 pandemic uh, that we start to uh, consider and look at um, other conditions that there are out there like um, heart valve uh, disease um, and um, stop focusing back um, on those uh, chronic conditions um, that need uh, that, that, that need greater uh, awareness and, and greater attention. Um, I think as well, um, you know, 
there's been a particular reticence in the last year of people going to their GP um, because they don't want to overload the system. They, 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 they feel that, well, the NHS is, has been struggling to uh, cope with coronavirus and uh, they don't want to add to that pressure. And I think now we really need to be saying to people, um, if you're concerned, you know, it's, it's probably nothing serious. But if you're concerned, get it checked out. And I think that's really the message that I would continue to press uh, to the to the minister, uh, Joe Churchill, um, and all of those um, in the Department for Health um, as 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 uh, important issues to pursue. Yeah, well, I mean, I think that is, that that's it, isn't it? That's the central message. Will that don't don't just forget about it and push it to one side. Get it checked. Uh, the, uh, and I think the government, as I say, are doing the right things. They're trying to make it easier for early diagnosis. I think these hub community hubs are a great advance. But get it checked. Don't delay. Uh, and uh, with a bit of luck, you know, if we all kind of focus around the same issues on this, we can maybe make a decent difference. We do have to address the issue of, of, of some of the patients that perhaps have had disruptions to their pathway over the last uh, months in the pandemic. However, we see it within our community of our patients, patients that were treated during uh, the pandemic with COVID-free pathways, the, the sheer excellence of the NHS and how they've delivered um, has been just inspirational. However, we do know that we've got a lot of, a lot of treatments to catch up on it. And that's where the, the role of the all party political group, conversations like we're having, the clinical discussions that we're having, um, it, it, patients should have reassurance that as long as they're diagnosed early, um, that uh, pathways uh, are there and available to them to get treated and get to the good quality of life that Steve's enjoying and, and so many other patients once they are treated. It's a very treatable disease. I think, and I think early diagnosis is absolutely critical because you're, you're quite right. It is a very treatable disease. It need not uh, be uh, the problem that it is, uh, but that does take that early detection and early treatment. Uh, and um, once that happens, as you say, the, the, the pathways are uh, um, are there and, and are very effective. So um, that's why I think conversations like this and awareness. Um, is, is is absolutely essential and that actually the NHS is geared up uh, to help people um, even though they've been through a very challenging time um, those those options are, are there um, and people should seize them. Excellent Henry well, I guess that's the message you know get it checked out talk to people about it seek help and it can definitely be treated very effectively uh, particularly if you seek help early enough. Henry, look, thanks a million for uh, finding the time to do this. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much, Steve. I really appreciate you uh, asking me to be part of this. I think it's a very, very important uh, initiative and uh, I, I, I wish it well. And um, thank you uh, for uh, your, um, your, your participation today. I really appreciate it.